Hello, Sunday night soul timers. I hope you're doing well. We had a bit of a pause last week. That's because we were having, as part of the Women's Purpose community, our second ever wellness retreat, uh, which is a really intimate affair for 10 incredible women that we had here in Malibu. And it was a great success, but I was away. So no Sunday night soul time. But anyway, I'm back and um, hoping that you're doing well. On the last Sunday night soul time, we were really focused on beingness and just connected to what you're here to do, which is being present. And our inability to be present is so much of the reason why we suffer. So it's, it's really like the foundation of so much of the work that we do and the inherent purpose of these Sunday night soul times, which is just to help you ground in and not approach the week ahead from a place of fear, worry, doubt, anxiety, but from a place of thriving, from a place of true abundance, um, joy and happiness. You know, your life shouldn't be something to dread and Mondays shouldn't and the week ahead shouldn't. And the more that we are connected to the energy of thriving, um, connected to our true empowerment, connected to the soul within, the more that we can approach life and experience life from a place of happiness and joy rather than as something that we're merely trying to survive. And so the topic that I want to focus on tonight, and it really builds on a lot of the work that we've been doing throughout the year so far on Sunday Night Soul Time. So if you haven't been following along, it's okay. You'll always get something out of each one of them. But the topic is that what you want is actually who you are. So if you have been following along and you started the year with intentions, um, all those intentions that you set, or if there's anything in your life that you're just wanting more of right now, what they actually are, are reflections of who you truly are at the soul level. And it's only the disassociation from the soul within that presents to you that there are things that you are lacking that you don't have in your life. So the big secret is, is that you manifest or you experience who you are and who you believe yourself to be. So if you set intentions in the beginning of the year, or if you've been, if you have anything now, something that you really want the gap of you not having that is because of a misperception of self because you are not seeing who you truly are. And so if you want a clue about who you truly are, look at those intentions and drill down to the core essence of what they are really about and seek to perceive that you are that, that you have that, that you've always been that as the quickest road and quickest pathway to materializing any intention you're seeking to embody or to manifest into your life. So for example, if it's a relationship, you know, you want a very healthy, loving relationship. Well, you want that because you are that because you are love. So how can you seek to embody and be more of the love energy in your life? the more you hold that energy in terms of how you direct love at yourself or the relationships that you do have, the quicker you bring in that loving romantic relationship or whatever it is. Okay. See how that works. Let's take, say it's financial abundance and, um, you are wanting a new job that has more financial abundance, or you're just, you have a business, you, you, whatever, you know, you want more wealth in your life. Again, the gap is to actually believe that your true nature to know that you are the core essence of abundance itself, that your very nature is abundance, attracts abundance, you know, is the essence of fertility and prosperity. And when you can start to believe that you are that, you bring in quickly all those opportunities that help you realize, quote unquote, financial abundance in your life, right? You see how that works. If you're wanting a new job, that was an intention to, um, you know, one that's filled with more passion and purpose that you love, that's joyful. Well, then it starts 
to view yourself that I am a person of passion and purpose. And how can you connect to that energy and just live and be that? And when you're that, you're going to then attract in the opportunities that also present that. So that's kind of like the secret to all of this. So in order to help you realize, to manifest, to embody whatever it is that you feel is missing from your life, that is an intention or a goal, drill down and look at the core essence of what that is. And then it's like, well, how do I just be that? now? How do I just be that now? So the way to go about this, um, looking at my notes here is, uh, two things, two practices, two steps, if you will. And first, if you had intentions, if you wrote intentions, if you've been following along, review what those were, if you did it and they're just something you want more of in your life, make a list. Okay. That's it. Then the second drill down. And what's the core essence that those intentions are really about? It's abundance, it's peace, it's joy, it's love, whatever it is, drill down to the core essence. And then step three, identify, well, how can I just be more of that in my present moment, everyday living right now? How can I be the frequency of that? How can I be the, you know, match of that, the embodiment match of that right now? So it's no longer that I got to go out and find it. I got to go out and make it happen. Instead, I have to realize I already am that. That's the quickest road to manifestation. Then it's all those things materialize. So it just happened. Or the illusion that you don't have them dissolves. So that's what I want to invite you to focus on, on this, you know, final Sunday night soul time of May. Um, We'll be going into more stuff next month on this topic uh, or the one building upon this, but, um, that's it. Realize that you manifest who you are. There's something you think you're missing in your life or that you're intending or wanting to bring in. It's because you are having a misperception of self. Look at what you want as the clues trying to reflect to you, the gaps in who you truly are, who you already are and choose to just be that now. And then look at how easy, simple, with flow and grace it is for all those manifestations, all those dreams you have for your life to just simply anchor in. So wishing you a beautiful week ahead. I will see you next week with more Sunday Night Soul Time. Sending you love. Bye for now.